You are in the 14th largest city in the country with so many places to go and things to do. How can you and your friends experience the greater Columbus area? One of the easiest ways is the bus, the Central Ohio Transit Authority, better known as the CODA. The cost to ride a CODA bus is already covered in your tuition and fees. All you need to bring with you is your Buck ID. The last time you rode a bus, it was big, it was yellow, and it probably took you to school. So here's a guide on how to ride CODA. Step one, decide where you want to go. Download the Pivot app. It can route your trip and tell you which bus to take to get to your destination and tell you the location of the nearest bus stop to get to that bus. You don't even need to know the exact address. Just type in the Ohio Union and it will pull up the address immediately. Or type in Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream and it will pull up the location in the short north. Very easy. Pivot tracks the bus's location in real time so that you know where the bus is up to 10 seconds before its arrival. Let's keep it simple. The number two bus goes up and down High Street. You can take it down to the Ohio State House, down to Nationwide Arena for a hockey game, or to one of several downtown theaters for a play or a concert. Step two, head for the bus stop. The number two bus has several stops along High Street, including the one at the corner of Lane and High Street, and right in front of Bowen House Residence Hall for those of you on North Campus, and right in front of the Ohio Union, and the corner of 13th and High for those of you on South Campus. The bus also has a bike rack on the front in case you want to take your bike downtown. Maybe take a ride along the bike paths downtown or ride to Audubon Park to go rock climbing. Step three, swipe your Buck ID. Just swipe it here on the fare box. Step four, say hello to the bus driver and ask for help. Tell the bus driver where you are going and the driver will help you know which stop to get off. The driver knows all of the routes and can answer any questions if you have them. It can be easier to sit in the front of the bus until you're more familiar with your favorite spots in Columbus, but be respectful of the people who have to sit in the front due to mobility issues. Step five, get ready to get off the bus. The bus will only stop at designated bus stops. So when your stop is approaching, make sure to pull the yellow cord located above the windows. If no one is moving to get off the bus and no one is waiting at the next stop, the bus will go past that stop. At some times of the day, there are a lot of different people on the bus. There are people coming to and from work, school, to a job interview, to an internship, shop, or to meet a friend. There are all kinds of cool people. Sometimes I like to imagine where they're going and why. Oh, here's a helpful hint. Get on at the front of the bus and get off at the back of the bus. It really helps to keep things moving. Coda is a great way to get around town. You can take it to go out for Donato's Pizza with friends or to Condado's in the short north. This city not only wants you to become a part of Ohio State, but a part of the city of Columbus as well. They welcome you to your new hometown.